We always like to check in with our friend, deranged billionaire John Hodgman. Usually, John will give us some idea about uh, why he's dropping by, but this time he just said he had a, a big announcement. So, uh, uh, I guess, welcome to the show, John Hodgman. John hey. Hodgman, everybody. Uh, nice to see you, John. Nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by and, have you and, and, and have you joining us. And now is, is the it? camera on me? Good. Yes. Thank you. John, the reason I called you here today. Well, is I'm, I'm here every day. It's my show, so I'm here. <laughs> it's not like you, you. Please, John, this is hard enough without your blubbering. I have something to say. I've been appearing on this show for almost 10 years now, and this show doesn't deserve an even slightly restless, deranged billionaire. <laughs> what? And so I'm, I'm moving on. Really? <laughs> the point is, I'm retiring to an exclusive gated community. Wow. You're going to Florida? With, no, John, an exclusive gated community <laughs> on Mars. Ma planet Mars. Yeah. Technically, it's called Summerwine Links at the Hellas Impact Crater. <laughs> but we just call it the colony Starwipe. Ah. <laughs> like that. that was good. Yeah, usually when you, you, you do a star wipe, it's to go to a different shot. Oh, picky, picky. You, you direct one movie, all of a sudden you're Francois Truffaut. <laughs> you know, Truffaut loved star wipes, by the way. Loved them. The point is, <laughs> bothering you, John, was the only reason I ever stuck around on this increasingly socialist cesspool of a planet. Now, with you leaving, it's time for me to rejoin my kind. What the? Star wipe? What? Are you saying you're a Martian? What? No, we got rid of the Martians. They were tanking our property values. I'm just a <laughs> very wealthy human who summers off planet. John, we 0.01 percenters have had a space colony for years. Why? Well, Mars is a billionaire's paradise. No taxes, no regulations, no unions. Plus, there's infinite room for our lavish orgies. <laughs> Although, we still have to wear our spacesuits, though. And safety first. So your, your orgies are just mostly just Dry humping in we, space. We, we call it bumping crotch plates. <laughs> John, uh, how does a society made up uh, only of billionaires function? Because don't you need uh, uh, non-rich people to provide you basic services? You're not going to do them yourselves, build infrastructure, uh, dance for your amusement. I <laughs> You're absolutely right, of course. Why do you think we billionaires are so obsessed with commercial space travel? Amazon founder Jeff Bezos' company, Blue Origin, says it's ready to start suborbital test flights this year. Branson's in on it. Elon Musk is in on it. This is bragging rights for people who can spend a quarter million dollars for about five minutes of weightlessness. So you're saying that you're, on Mars, your migrant workers... Are lowly millionaires, yes. But <laughs> someone has to unclog our space toilets and clean our crotch plates. That makes sense. Well, I could talk about crotch plates all night, but I've got to get going. So oh. I'll put on my helmet. All right. <laughs> Enjoy your rocket trip. <laughs> hey, uh... Rocket trip, John. You think I'm going coach? <laughs> These days, the best people all travel by mysterious cosmic monolith. <gasps> oh, there it is now. Farewell, Earthlings. Bomb. <laughs> Bomb. Bomb. Bum, 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 bum. I am the star child. Oh, my body's weird. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Well, fare, farewell, star child John Hodgman. I guess, I guess now you belong to the ages. And... Hi. Well, I forgot something. <laughs> I, I'm leaving behind hundreds of empty investment condos, you know, to make sure that New York is forever unaffordable for the middle class. <laughs> okay. So could you water my plants? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, there was a, there was a light show. You turned into a baby. What the hell was that? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think about it too hard, John. It's very deep. <laughs> Anyway, goodbye. Oh, and that whole thing about billionaires being essential job creators, yep, we made that up. <laughs> you know, so, so the pores wouldn't kill us. The only thing that really trickled down was bull <laughs> Goodbye. John Hodgman, everybody.